Today, we're going to show you how to seamlessly transfer your data from one iPhone to another, which is useful when you decide to upgrade. Let's get into it. Before we get started, you should know that I'll be transferring from an iPhone 14 Plus to an iPhone 14 Pro. So the steps might be a little different depending on your device. We'll cover three methods of doing this. The Quick Start, iCloud, and Finder or iTunes. The amount of time it'll take depends on the data transfer speeds and the amount of data being transferred. So with that, let's jump into action. The Quick Start method is perfect for those who want to transfer data quickly and effortlessly. First, make sure your current iPhone is connected to a wireless network and that the Bluetooth is turned on. Then, turn on your new iPhone and put it near your current one. Next, follow the directions to walk you through the steps. At some point, you might be asked to activate sell your service on your new iPhone. Again, just follow the steps to complete the process. As you can see, Apple makes it pretty simple. When that's done, follow the instructions to set up Face ID, along with a few other settings. Then, choose to transfer data from your current iPhone. If you choose the iCloud method, which I'll talk about in a minute, apps and other data will download in the background. You can start using your new iPhone while that happens behind the scenes, but know that you won't have access to everything right away. If you choose transferring directly from your current iPhone, you'll need to wait until the transfer is done before you can use either iPhone again. Regardless, make sure to keep both near each other and connected to power so the process doesn't get interrupted. And there you have it. That's how you transfer iPhone data using the Quick Start method. Next, let's explore the iCloud method, which is for if you've already backed up your data from your current iPhone to iCloud. I won't explain how to do that here, but if you're looking to do it, we have another video linked in the notes below that might be helpful. Also, if you got excited and already set up your new iPhone, you'll need to fully erase it to complete the process. Just a heads up. All right, plug in and turn on your new iPhone and follow the setup process. Connect to your Wi-Fi, then follow the instructions until you reach the Apps and Data screen. Select Restore from iCloud Backup, sign into your iCloud account, and choose a backup. Make sure you look at the date and time so you're picking the right one. Oh, and make sure you keep the iPhone plugged in and connected to the Wi-Fi. It'll be downloading a lot of data, so you want to make sure that it doesn't get interrupted. When it's done, you're set to go. Your backup has been restored to your new iPhone. The final method is to use Finder or iTunes, which is great for those who prefer a computer-based transfer. For this to work, you'll need to have backed up your current iPhone to your Mac or PC before you can transfer the data onto the new iPhone. Just a heads up. And again, if you already set up your new iPhone, you will need to erase it before moving forward. Turn on your new iPhone and follow the directions until you get to the apps and data screen. Once you're there, tap the Restore from Mac or PC option. Connect your new iPhone to your computer with the USB cable and open Finder or iTunes. You'll use Finder if your Mac is running Mac OS Catalina or newer. If you're using PC, you'll use iTunes. Select your device. If you're prompted to trust the device, read through the prompt and when ready, and if you agree, tap on trust. Click on Restore Backup and choose the most recent backup. Wait for the process to finish. If your backup is encrypted, you'll have to type the password. Once the restore is finished, simply complete the rest of the setup and you're set to go. So, those are the three methods to transfer data from one iPhone to another. If this video was helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.